Good morning, Polly's Island. Today is Thankful Thursday, August 12th, 2021, and it's time for your Polly's Island sunrise and surf report with all of you and Dave Clayton. We're at the far north end today. And we have a Caribbean sky today. I'll show you what I mean. 78 degrees. High today is going to be about 88. That is a Caribbean sky. Lots of bait fish. Looking at Midway Inlet towards Litchfield. Such a cool morning. Winds out of the southwest. Blowing pretty good if you're headed to the beach today. You want to take something to keep your tent down because it's blowing pretty good. Low tide was this morning at five o'clock. And we're gonna have another one at about 5.20 this afternoon. And high tide's gonna be right before noon, about 11.20. We had a new moon phase last night. So it was nice and dark for the meteor shower. Anybody see that? Pretty cool. I couldn't see it as good last night. For some reason there was a little bit of I couldn't I couldn't see it good in Hagley. Sunrise is six thirty six. So you still have time to get out here. Good morning, Lisa Clayton. Cannot get over how many bait fish are happening. Water temperature is 83 degrees. And we've been holding there for about a month. Good morning. How are you, sir? It is. I gotta ask you a question. Yes, sir. What are you thankful for today? Oh, thankful for that lady right there. And I'm thankful for this beautiful sunrise that God has given to us. Yep. That's so many great. things can't can't think of them all. I love it. So 
And thank you, for, thanks for that puppy right there. Toby brings so much life to our house. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. All right, have a great day. You too. I'm thankful for you. Well, you out you here with. Four dealer. <laughs> You're thankful for your four dealers, that what she said? That's right. <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> wow. Question, hey, question for you. Question for you. Yeah. What are you thankful for today? Oh, the sunrise and the fish and being alive. Amen. In God's world. Yes. <laughs> he created it. Yes, ma'am. What are you thankful for today, friends? What are you thankful for today? I'm gonna show you this sky real quick. Just an incredible sky. Tide starting to come in. No CM index is definitely a five. Five out of ten. So you'll feel them, but they're bearable. They're not every second you're out here. They're about a couple of minutes. <laughs> Fishing conditions actually is good today. I looked it up. Tides for Fishing tells us. And what's funny is I've never seen a good. I've always seen very good every single day. And today, just for fun, I looked it up and it said good. So I thought that was pretty funny. Sun is right over there.
Good morning, Belle. We got some speed bumps out here. I've got a question for you. Good morning. Good morning to you. What are you thankful for today? It's Thankful Thursday. What am I thankful for today? Yes, ma'am. That I am up and being able to see this beautiful world. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm thankful every morning I am able to wake up and get out of the bed. How about you, sir? What are you thankful for today? I'm thankful I'm vertical. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're <laughs> looking at this beautiful sunrise starting to come up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nice day to be on the island. What are you thankful for? Thankful for my family so much. Yeah, I'm thankful that my family got back to California yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, they had to leave after a month here, so they got home safely. Did they stay with you for a month here? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Well, you have a great day, Dave. You too. Yeah. Hello, Ms. Rosemary. Hey. Good morning, Hello, Mr. Good morning, Rob. Tell us what you're thankful for, y'all. Chelsea and Matt cleaned the boat last night. I'm thankful for that. It was covered in mud and rust from doing the magnet fishing. So they took soap and sponges out there and they cleaned that thing for an hour and a half. And it looks like a brand new boat. It's clean. Good morning. How are y'all? Good. How are you? Question for you. Yeah. Today's Thankful Thursday. Yeah. What are you thankful for today? Uh, family. Yeah, family. Same. Your family. Are you from here? No, we're no. vacation. Nice. Where'd you come from? Newberry. Nice. Do you come here all, every summer? Or? Every year. How long have you been coming to Pauly's? Since 2012. That's great. You think that coming here has helped your family, help you appreciate your family even more? Absolutely. A lot, yeah. lot slower, away from work, just able to slow down and enjoy each other. That's great. What do you do in Newberry? I'm a quality manager for Samsung. Nice. It's just nice to have like a some time to spend time with each other. Do you fish or anything like that when you're here, do you? Mm -hmm. Cool. A lot. You love your family? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you for letting us share that time with you. I'm thankful for y'all coming to Polly's.
So you can see our waves are less than a foot today. It looks like the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Not only with the sky, but also with the waves. It'd be hard to get out of this inlet right now, but in another hour or so, you should have a pretty good way in and out of it. Good morning, William, and Debbie Cooper. What are you thankful for, friends? This morning, Shawnee, I'm at the far north end where the Midway Inlet separates Litchfield Beach, which is what we're looking at right there, and Pauly's Island. And we're right out there at the very north end of Pauly's. We like to come here at least once a week, sometimes more, because we have pretty good reception, so you can hear us. And also it's just it's just real beautiful. Good morning, Mary Jane. I know you're getting some pictures this morning. All right, it's time for some good news. Being thankful for so much this morning leads us right to the good news. Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Lord, we're thankful for your word that tells us the truth whenever we choose to read it. We're so grateful for it today. We're grateful for you. And we're grateful for this incredible opportunity to be out here and share your word together. So Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Friends, how many times have you said, I just don't know what God's will is for my life with this. I know I've said it quite a lot. <laughs> I just don't know what God's will is. Well, this scripture today tells us exactly what God's will is for our lives. Rejoice always. Pray continually, giving thanks in all circumstances. How incredible is that, y'all? Are y'all jacked? We don't have to search anymore.
We don't have to question anymore. God's will is right there in front of us. If you look up what it means to rejoice, it means to shout or sing for joy. To be filled with joy so much that you can't shut your mouth. You have to scream <laughs> or sing or release it. Your joy is overfilled. Do y'all get it? Do y'all get it? To pray continually means to just talk to God. Don't just talk to your ears or your, your own head. Talk to God. In the psychological world or in, in psychotherapy world, they call it self-talk, right? You're talking to yourself. And you can tell yourself terrible things or you can tell yourself great things. But in spiritual, biblical truth, God hears everything. Every thought you have, everything. But if you direct your thoughts towards Him, you're continually praying. It's not rocket science. It's not a four foot hammerhead shark. Or is it? I just saw one right there. So not every circumstance is of your choosing. Not every circumstance is gonna be perfect. But if we're talking to God along the way, and if we're giving thanks always, then it comes natural to give thanks in all circumstances, good, bad, whatever. There's example after example in the Bible about this with Job, with Habakkuk. With David in the Bible. And then in your life, and in my life, so we're able to talk to God freely whenever, all day long. This is only possible through Jesus Christ, right? And that's how this good news ends. And it's good news. Prior to Jesus, it was a lot different. But the perfect Lamb of God makes it possible for us to just talk to him, just, just go straight to him. So I think that's pretty amazing. 
We may have done this good news before, but I think you could do this good news every single day. <laughs> we should we should do this one all the time. So that we don't forget it. Because the new covenant of Jesus is freedom to talk to God all day long. So that hammerhead shark is still over there. He's moved over further. And he's feeding. Hopefully you can see him. He's right over there. And I think he's about four and a half feet. So I've got a challenge for y'all today and for myself. And that is, if we're around someone today, well, first off, I think we should ask everybody today, you have a an open, an easy access, an easy thing to say, and that is, hey, it's thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for? An easy opening line, I should say word track, whatever you want to call it. But I want you to, the challenge is when someone around you starts to go into a tailspin of anything negative at all, the challenge I have for you is to just stop, look them in the eye and say, you know, it's thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for today? and see what they tell you. They might say, I'm thankful for you so I can open up and share this with you so that I can get rid of it and not have negativity in my life for the rest of the day. Who knows? So the challenge is, whoever you run into today, whoever you talk to, ask them what they're thankful for. Tell them it's Thankful Thursday. Engage in thankful conversation. And I think our next prayer walk, that's probably one of the opening questions we're gonna ask people is, what are you thankful for today? <laughs> you know? I think that's a lot. I think that's a really good question. Maybe we should hand him a Polly's Island shell and say, here, this is for you. And then we should say, so what are you thankful for today? It might be a lot easier to start a conversation that way than to say, hey, how can we pray for you? All right, y'all, I'm thankful for you, and I mean that. I'm thankful I get to come out here every day and that 
you all are holding me accountable to that and that we can do this together. So I'm signing out. Hope you all have an incredible day. May God bless you. May God keep you. And may he help you make his choices today and every day. For the word of God tells us that his will is for you to be thankful in every circumstance. To give thanks in every circumstance. And that his will is perfect. Signing out. Through Christ Jesus, who gives us the freedom to go straight to the Father. What a blessing. Of all the things to be thankful for, there's nothing to be more thankful for than that. Signing out. Love you guys.